Hey guys and welcome back to another Unmentioned 4 tutorial, in today's video it's another replication episode and today we're going to be going over destroying actors or picking up items, whatever way you want to look at it, but again this is just a general destroying actors video and replicating that so it works on both the server and client. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today, so as you can see I've got a server and a client and I've got five different boxes here which I'm going to pick up and destroy on both the server and client. So right now I'm playing as the client and go up pick up one of these boxes and it destroys it for both people playing and if I go to the server now it's going to work here as well I was overlapping two which is why I picked up two at the same time there but as you can see this is working for both and for everyone playing we're going to be replicating destroying these and it also works with the collision because it is destroying them not just hiding them so this is going to work perfectly so this is what we're going to make today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it so this is going to be very similar to some of my other replication videos namely the door opening one because what we need to do is we can't actually destroy the actor inside of the blueprint itself i.e. for me it's just a cube blueprint which as you can see here is simply just a cube and a box collision I have nothing else in here because what we need to do is we need to do it via the third person character blueprint or any other character blueprint which you have because that is the one which can be replicated you can't fire off replicated custom events inside of other blueprints so what you need to do first is you need to make sure you have your item opened up which you want to be destroyed so for me again that's just this cube and also open up your character blueprint it doesn't matter which character it is but just have it as a character ideally you'd want it to be the one that is hosting so it's the server but again it doesn't matter so again for me in this example all of them are just a third person character but once you have that loaded up we're going to be inside of our character blueprint and I'm going to right click and add a custom event and I'm going to name this one destroy actor on server so the way I'm doing this as well it means you can use this for any item you want it's not just specific to one item and with this selected we're going to hit replicate and change it from not replicated to run on server right click and add another custom event if I spell it correctly add custom event I'm going to name this one destroy actor on client and this is going to be not replicated change that to multicast so it runs on all and then out of destroy actor on client what I want to do is I want to get an is valid node with a question mark there and that's just in case maybe the client and the server want to destroy something at the same time one of them will get there first and we don't want to then get an error while the other one is trying to destroy it after it's already gone so let's say the client and server want to destroy something at the same time the client gets there first the server may have pressed at the same time but it's already destroyed this is valid here it's just going to prevent getting an error because nothing's going to happen because it's already been destroyed so is valid is where we're going to get a destroy actor like so and is not valid won't do anything and the target for the destroy actor we're going to drag onto the custom event there so now we have the target of the destroy actor in the destroy actor and client custom event I'm just going to rename this target to be actor and then out of destroy actor on server we're going to call function destroy actor on client like so and we're also going to drag the target into there although I need to compile to change that to actor and then I'll just right click and refresh nodes there just so the name has changed and I'll drag that one into that other custom event as well so now we have it set up like this so the destroy actor on server custom event is going to run on server and what it's going to run on the server is destroying the actor on the client which will run that on all which is simply just going to destroy the actor if it is still there and actually with the is valid we need to drag the input object into the actor from the destroy actor on client there like so so now you should have something which looks a little like this so now we need to actually interact with our cube to destroy it so what I've got is I've already got an interaction system set up using blueprint interfaces which I would recommend you use as well I'd recommend using a blueprint interface as it's much more efficient especially for multiplayer and it's very simple to set up I do have other videos where I go over it in more detail again it's very very easy to set up and this here is my interaction code so once you've got that we're going to go over to our cube blueprint or just the blueprint in which you want to pick up or destroy and I've already implemented the interface in here so to do that you can go to class settings interfaces add and then search for the interface you have which for me is the interact interface but I've already added it so I can't do it again and so once you've done that you can see on the left here we have interfaces and interact interface there so I'm going to right click on that and implement function because I now have an interact function within that interface and out of event interact what I'm going to do 
is cast to my character blueprint or just the blueprint in which you have this code that we've just done here for actually destroying the actor. So for me that's the third person character. So event interact, I'm going to cast to third person character like so, with the object obviously being get player character. And again you need to make sure that it is in a character blueprint or something of those sort. Character or important blueprint. And as third person character, what I'm simply going to do is call function destroy actor on server. Because as you can see here, we've got server to client to destroy. And in here again, the actor, we want to destroy the one we're currently in. So that is going to be get a reference to self. And that is going to input this cube we have here into this custom event here, which will go into the destroy actor that we see here. And that should be the code done for is it's nice and simple to do. So again, make sure you do also have your interact code so you can actually do that and have it working like so. So as you see here, when we interact, we're gonna see if we're overlapping it. If we are, it's gonna call this interact function we've just set up here. So let's hit play and test this out. I'm gonna go over to these boxes again, like so, moving them into position. And I can pick these up and it will work for both the server and client as you can see here. This is working perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video. It's done everything we want to do. We've set up another replication system. This time it is going to be for picking up items or just destroying actors in any way you want. So this will also work for let's say killing an enemy or killing anything because you're destroying the actor of it. Again, in this example, it's just going to be picking items up. For any system in which you want to destroy actors, this will work for replicated online multiplayer. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.